In this video, I'm going to talk to you about controlling timeline playback and navigating to labels. Here you'll see I have my Meet the Freds exercise opened up again, and all I did was a quick copy and paste of the nav that I used in the tween control exercise into the HTML of this exercise. Now, when I went through the docs, I told you that tweens and timelines share this exact same methods. So, if we want to control a timeline, it's really the exact same thing. The first step we need to do is create a reference to the timeline. In this case, I'm going to do var animation equals gsap.timeline. So now I can refer to this timeline whenever I want using code. Now I'm not gonna bore you with typing out a zillion lines of code. You've seen all this before. So I'm just gonna paste in the document, get element of play and on click, tell animation to play, animation to pause. All right, it's just the same stuff. You can copy and paste, change the names around. I just wanna make it clear that animation could have been timeline or Fred's timeline or meet the Fred's, anything I want it to be whatsoever. I just need to make sure that my buttons say that that's the thing that we're telling to play, pause, reverse, and restart. So I'm just gonna hit run, and you're gonna see that this timeline is actually gonna play really slow, and that's on purpose. Uh, Meet the Freds takes a long time to come in, there's a very slow stagger, and then we have the time come in. Now I can restart this whenever I want without reloading the page, which is great. I can reverse it if I wanted to. I could pause it right there and see if it's blurry or something's wrong, whatever. But what I want to get into next is, you know, you're going to commonly be in situations where you have a very long timeline and you want to just focus on a particular part of it. So let's just use a scenario that my art director tells me that uh, when this time thing comes in, it's just not right. We need to fix it, okay? So the trouble we get into is that every time we make a little change to the code and I want to see this thing come in, you know, I would have to watch this entire very boring excessively slow animation until it showed up. So what we want to do is create a way to jump directly to that part of the animation. So this is super cool. This is like the best part about timelines. So the tween that I want to fix is the one for time. And right before I add it, I'm going to say dot add. And then if I pass in a string, I'm just going to say test right now because that's easy that puts what's called a label into the timeline. It's literally a marker at that point in time that I can reference with code. So how would that look? Well, without creating a button first, I could say something like, hey, animation dot play, and I could pass in that label name, which is test. And now check this out. The next time I run this demo, we're gonna skip everything Boom, and we jump right to that point in time. How many times are you gonna be working on an animation that's 15, 20 seconds long, and you wanna just tweak the end? A lot. The solution is just add in a label. So now that I know that that works, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go into my HTML super quick, and you're gonna see exactly you know, my copy paste style. We're just gonna take that out, do a Command C, a Command V, and I'm going to make sure this thing has an ID of test and we're going to give it, uh, we'll just have the word test in there, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to jump to that label when we click that button. So to do that with code, let's just create another on click event handler here. So let's just copy the uh, restart. Copying and pasting is 90% of your job as a developer. So instead of saying the element with an ID of restart, we're gonna get the one with an ID of test. And then we're going to say, hey, animation, you're not gonna restart, you're going to play, whoops, it's already there, and we're gonna put in the string of test. So now I've created my own custom button that lets me navigate to a point in time in the timeline. This is the best. So I'm sick of watching this. Let me hit test, boom, and I get right there. So now what I can do is say, oh, you know what? I think that animation there should, you know, maybe have a cool ease on it. So maybe we'll say ease uh, bounce. So I'm gonna run. And now I don't need to snore fest here. I can just hit test and I can just hit test again. And I keep going to that label and watching that animation. Now I probably wouldn't use a bounce there, 
but hopefully you understand that this can be an insanely huge time saver by putting a label into a timeline.